hello guys welcome back so in this video we will be continuing our model so now that uh, we have defined our material properties and we have also defined some uh, beam column parts and also the rebar and stirrups section so now the next thing is that uh, we need to assign those material to our uh, section and our beam parts so uh, we can do this by clicking on this icon beam and then uh, we need to assign section to all our parts the first one is beam so we can click here and it asks us to select a region that uh, need to be assigned in the section so we will select this section and uh, I also want to create a set from it and uh, I will name it as beam and done. So now it asks me to assign section for this so I can click this icon because I haven't created any sections. So we need to assign a section beam section. It is solid, homogeneous and continue. Now we need to assign the material to that section because we only have two materials so it is RC reinforced concrete beam so it is concrete and ok so you can see the type and the material in the section when you click ok the color of the section will turn to green which shows that uh, the section has been assigned to this part now you can minimize it and then you can come to the column and also we need to assign section to the column here section assignment I can name it as column select it done so now uh, even though you can uh, just uh, continue with the same section but uh, anyhow you can also define different section but uh, that uh, won't make any difference because our material is same but if you want to uh, have a particular name for your section then you can just do it column and the material will be same concrete so now from here you can select column section and ok so now I have assigned material to our beam and column and the next thing is that we need to assign material to our rebar sections as well so select it I do not want to create set from these later if I need I will create uh, one set from all of the uh, entire reinforcement but uh, I do not want to create set now because if I created set now later I will uh, regenerate some more rebar feature from this so it will you know uh, create a lot of sets and then it will be difficult to manage so now we do not have any section for this because we haven't defined any uh, solid homogeneous because previously we have defined solid homogeneous but we did not define any other section so here we I can just simply name it rebar section and I can choose beam and there are two options either you can go for the beam and or you can go for the truss if you choose the beam you need to assign this option assign beam orientation to your model but if you choose truss then you can you do not need to assign the beam orientation to your rebar model anyhow uh, I'll use truss element continue material rebar now here is the cross-sectional area so cross-sectional area uh, need to be defined according to the uh, you know the cross-sectional area of your rebar that you are using so by default the cross-sectional area is 1 but uh, you need to change that you need to assign the cross-sectional area of your rebar so based on this paper for you know beams and column uh, they are using 
3 pi which means number 6 rebar they are using as their longitudinal reinforcement and they are using number 3 rebar as their stirrups so now after that you need to do some best manual calculation for example first you need to find what's the area of number 6 rebar which is 284 but it's in mm you need to convert that into uh, meters because I'm using meter as my basic unit so it's 284 so you here you can set some unit mm square to meter square okay I have 284 so this is my uh, area of rebar I can copy it and I can paste it here so it's okay rebar truss and now okay so I have defined section for my beam main rebars okay and I also can assign the same section to my column main rebars from here I can select it then rebar section and okay now the next thing is that we need to assign section to our stirrups beam stirrups and column stirrups so we can choose this this is our beam stirrups choose this section then but be careful do not assign the same section to your stirrup because in this section the rebar was number six rebar so definitely we need to uh, define another rebar so we can name is and beam truss continue now the material I will use the same material for that but the cross-sectional area will be different and how will I find that I need to do some calculation again number 3 it has 71 mm square of nominal area which means I need to copy this in square meter copy it and here I can just paste that value and ok ok so I have assigned section to beam stirrups now I need to assign the same section to a column stirrup because beam stirrup or and column stirrup they both are having the same section then it stirrup and ok and so now this is how you assign the material to your, your different sections no matter how many section do you have so the one thing that you need to take care of is that which sections are having the same material same diameter same properties for example uh, we were using beam and column although I define two different sections but I can just simply used one section for beam as column because we bo we were using the same material uh, which is concrete for both section but in case of rebars you need to take care of the diameter of the rebar that whether the diameter is varying or it is the same for your longitudinal rebar or stirrup so even if your beam and column does not have the same longitudinal rebar so you need to define two different sections for that as well. So that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next video.